I'm moving, I'm single again, and I'm having a quarter life crisis. Oh boy, oh boy, we're in for a wild ride. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delusional. Holding on. Just hold on, we're going home. We're going home. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit delusional. Oh, I think I already said that. Yes, just furthering my point. I am in fact delusional right now. I hate car vlogging, but it's such an intimate conversation that you have while like, I didn't even bring my tripod, so like, kind of a mistake on my part. Okay, it's being worse than it usually is. I guess we'll just vlog when I get there because this is obviously not working out. So bad. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I was fucking jamming. We're, guess where we are? Guess, can you guess? We're at my apartment. Guys, this video is already a train wreck and how many minutes are we into the actual video? Because it's already a train wreck, let me tell you that much. This video, it's going to be a kind of a daily vlog, but it's also an update video. If you watched my last video I posted, I promised I would make an update video because my life has been extremely crazy, and that's why I haven't been posting. I posted like once this month. Oh my god, and I'm losing my voice. I was... <laughs> I was really... I was really jamming out. <laughs> Oh my god, but oh my god. There's so much shit that I need to catch you guys up on I filmed another video I'm pretty sure the thumbnail I'm gonna use is actually from the video that was supposed to be this video and I filmed it But then I was watching it and I was like That shit is so boring. Nobody's gonna want to watch that so I decided I would do the that video vlog style instead because I feel like it's more entertaining but here's a gist of the last video that I filmed that will kind of give you a little brief update on what's going on. So cue a clip from that video that I filmed. <laughs> oh God, I haven't filmed in so fucking long. I feel so goddamn awkward. I just wanted to make this update before I started posting more videos and things got confusing because they're already confusing to me so I can only imagine how confusing they're gonna be to you so I'm gonna do my best to explain the current situation. Obviously, I'm back at my mom's house. This is my old bedroom. I've been here for the past almost a month now. So obviously that's gonna raise a lot of questions. Like, did you get evicted? Why haven't you been at your apartment that you literally just moved into like three months ago? I did not get evicted. This is kind of going into the second little topic. If you guys are aware, if you guys watched my moving vlog or have been watching my videos, you know I moved out with my boyfriend. <laughs> Is the puzzle kind of <laughs> connecting? <laughs> Are the dots lining up a little bit now? So I actually broke up with my boyfriend a couple weeks ago. I know that sounds really shocking, but don't worry. Um, <laughs> we are still talking and like, it wasn't a horrible situation. He did not do anything wrong. Basically, I just got to a point in my life, I'm only 18 for those of you who don't know, I'm 18. And I just feel like I haven't had the chance to figure out who I am as a person. I haven't really explored my adult self because I'm just barely an adult. And sometimes I forget that because I graduated early. I I've been living like this for a really long time now, so I forgot I'm literally just barely an adult. He didn't do anything wrong. Um, don't come for him. We're still talking. We're still friends. It was just a really personal decision. It was honestly really hard to realize that that was the best thing for me. So now that all of that is out of the way, um, I want to talk about just like a little life update. Like what am I doing now? Am I staying at home? What's going on? Basically, long story short, um, I quit my job up there because there's no reason for me to be working that far away from where I am right now. And then I went back to the gym I used to work at, literally walked in and said, listen guys, I need a job just until August. Can you guys hook me up? And they said, you start tomorrow at 6.30. And I said, good, good with me. But if you were listening, you're gonna be like, well, why only till August? Why not 
longer than August. This is where shit gets crazy, guys. This is where shit gets crazy. If you guys don't believe in like everything happens for a reason and like synchronicity and just the universe just lining shit up, you know? Well, now you're gonna believe in it. A little bit after Monty and I talked through things, we decided that we were gonna go our separate ways and everything. I was talking to my friend Morgan. She's been in a couple of my videos, so if you guys have watched my videos, you know who I'm talking about. She moved like about an hour away for college and everything, so we hadn't really been talking, but we we're still friends. Like, I've been, we've been friends since fifth grade, so we don't have to talk every single day to like be close. Randomly, I don't even know how, we like sent each other a couple texts and then she was like, hey, can I FaceTime you? And I was like, sure. I find out that her roommate is wanting to move out too. And so Morgan's looking for a roommate because her roommate's moving out. I just moved out of my apartment. So it's like, and how we just happened to like reach out to each other right when it was all happening. So that shit's crazy. Her roommate is planning on moving out sometime in like August. So I'm gonna move in with Morgan sometime in August. We don't have the exact dates yet, but oh my God, I'm so excited because Morgan and I have wanted to live together for the longest time. It's just so much just like happened to me all at once. And I'm honestly really anxious and it's like kind of stressing me out because I have to figure out all this stuff and my life literally just got turned upside down. Everything happens for a reason, so I know that this is the path I need to be on. Everything is kind of like lining up. Also, my birthday is in less than a month. I'm turning 19. I swear to God, I've been 18 for the longest time, but my birthday is next month and I haven't even thought about my birthday because I'm thinking about having to move. I don't know, guys. That's what's going on. I didn't even get to finish my first moving vlog series, so... Now you guys are gonna get a whole new moving vlog series. Yay! In under six months. Like, what is going on? Oh, and I'm also gonna be going to school again in the fall. I'm doing online. I'm moving. I'm single again. And I'm having a quarter life crisis. <laughs> life is fucking crazy, man. So that was a bomb to drop, right guys? That was a little bit of a shock. And I am so much stuff. And I'm at the apartment and I basically have a bunch of bags because I need to get a few things. Moving again, that means more moving vlogs. And this time I'm actually gonna do more than just one because I'm more organized this time around. I know what I'm doing. Today I just need to grab a few things like out of the fridge and the pantry. So Monty already moved his stuff out. I'm moving my stuff out on Tuesday, but that will be a part of one of the moving vlogs I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna be kind of trippy, but hey, good to be back. Good to be moving out too because I'm not gonna lie, this apartment really did make me like hella depressed because there's only one window and it's like halfway underground and it was just so fucking dark all the time and there was no window in the bedroom so I would literally like wake up in total darkness and have no concept of time. It was just really like fucking with me so you know it was a great first apartment and I totally love it and I love all the memories I had there but I am kind of happy to see it go, not gonna lie so... We're ready to pack this bitch up. I'm packing up all the small stuff today. I think I already said that. And then on Tuesday, I have a moving van and everything, and I'm going to move all the big stuff. So that's what's going on. Okay, guys. So I'm in the apartment, and it's a little bit of a fucking mess, but we're not going to talk about it. I literally haven't been here in over a month, and I did not know what to expect coming back. And... I was surprised, so that's really good. I'm definitely gonna clean out the fridge. I've already kind of started cleaning out the fridge. And then I'm just gonna do some miscellaneous tidying up because literally I don't know what happened in here. I'm not gonna question it. I just need to fix it because, oh boy. Anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. Just gonna clean, just gonna clean away. Gonna miss this little tiny dungeon with one semi-bright window. That's what I'm doing, so. Let's get cleaning. I have the most subscribers. I'm obviously the guy who does the intro. Okay. Hey, we're at my house, I guess. This is my house now. We're at my house. I'm in my bathroom because I am going to get a spray tan, but not just any spray tan. Basically, I am modeling the spray tan, so I'm getting the spray tan for free. 
but I'm gonna be modeling it. So then they're gonna take pictures of me after and use it for like advertising or whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall over. I was supposed to go at one, but now she's saying to come at 1.30 instead. And it's like 12.30 right now. So that's why I was gonna take my makeup off right now because they spray your face so I can't have makeup on. We're gonna keep my makeup on just a little bit longer or should I take it off now? Just so I'm like ready to go. I guess we'll take it off now so I'm like ready to go. Hey guys, so I'm now at the gym slash where I work slash where I'm getting my spray tan done. It started to like pour outside. Like it was legitimately pouring rain. For those of you that don't know, it's not good to walk out in the pouring rain with a fresh spray tan because I don't want like water droplets on my arms or anything. She wants to practice doing contouring in the spray tan, so I don't know if she's gonna make it look like I have washboard abs or something, but I'm looking forward to it, so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna run in there. I have like three minutes, so I should probably hurry. My face is really red right now, and I don't know why. It's gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit of an orange, but hopefully I'll have a six pack. We'll update you soon. Okay, guys, what's up? I'm done. I actually don't, okay, if my AC is about to like pop off, I'll be so mad. I actually don't look that orange because she just got a new shade and it's the light shade because usually I, my only option is dark and so usually when I get spray tans here they're like extremely dark but hey I'm not super dark so that's good but that was a whole experience usually when she needs like models or just practice like you go in she gives you a spray tan she takes a picture and then you're good to go but she was doing like actual training like the lady that was giving me the spray tan and her instructor was on like zoom was on a zoom call with her and so the instructor was watching her do the spray tan keep in mind i don't have a shirt on like and so i'm like basically naked in this room old lady is on facetime like watching this other lady spray my body down when she said contouring she meant contouring like i don't know maybe you guys can see like if my bicep didn't already look huge oh my god but oh my gosh that was an experience that was I'm glad to be of use. And yeah, I'm gonna head home now. The weather is gorgeous. Let me just, like the mountains, the sky. I just love these vibes. Good vibes all around. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day. Um, I got my lashes filled. Can you tell? Got them filled. Sorry if the lighting's really weird. Uh, it's really dark outside because it's still raining today. It's really dark and I have this cute ass little mini ring light that I'm using. Good investment. Good investment. What am I doing here today, you may ask? Let me show you. I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> Um, obviously you guys know I'm having a quarter life crisis. Everything doesn't make sense. So naturally, I did some online shopping. <sighs> Audrey, you're so fucking stupid. I'm literally moving again and what am I spending my money on? Nice. Stop it. Get some help. Also, sorry if like, I feel like my, oh my God. Oh my God, don't even look. I look like a whole man. Fuck. But I was gonna say I look orange, but apparently I also just look like a whole bodybuilder, so that's also great. Let's get into this haul. Oh my god, I got more shoes. That was the fucking. How stupid am I? I don't need more shoes. Okay, but these are sick. These are fucking sick, dude. They're white with like chains and studs and all that to make me feel edgy so that's the first pair of shoes oh my gosh so excited for these little guys second pair of shoes let's pop these open this is my first time ever ordering from nasty gal so we'll see if i approve of it these are cute these are just little booties can't go wrong with a good pair of booties should we just dump this shit out let's dump it out don't look at my arm. I look like a burnt bodybuilder zombie. I hate that. Ready? Wow. I literally ordered like seven pairs of pants. I'm not even kidding. We'll start with these. One of the, I'll probably make this a try on haul because I'm so nice. So these are double buckle mom jeans. Okay. Oh. Do they have deep? 
Oh shit, I knew these pockets would be good. Um, I just really liked how these looked. I like how it has a built-in belt because pants never fit me around the waist, so I figured that would be beneficial. I've, this is the only, the first pair of pants I've tried on, but I've literally never had a pair of jeans fit me better than these jeans. These jeans are even kind of short on me. That has never happened before. They fit perfectly around my waist. They aren't too tight around my butt. <laughs> What is this? Who, who made these? I just want to talk. Oh fuck, I got three pairs of jeans. Oh no. These are cute. Check it out. <gasps> I kind of, I kind of just forgot how to breathe. Oh my God. This one is called, You Don't Two Tone Me Denim Mom Jeans. Now wait a minute. The name of these, the names of clothing items on like online stores crack me up. You're interested? I'm a size six in all bottoms. Okay, so these are definitely like bigger. Like I got room to shake, but they are style mom jeans. So I probably should have sized down, but I didn't expect them to actually be loose. I have literally never tried on a pair of boyfriend jeans or mom jeans that have been baggy around my thighs and still fit my waist. Like usually if I am trying on mom jeans, they're hella tight around my thighs and only baggy around the calves. But I gotta say, these are the best mom jeans I've ever tried on. Almost too long, but if I have shoes on, it'll be fine. Like they hit me right at my ankle, which I, I am just, blown away. These are honestly so cute, but if you want them to fit tighter, I recommend going a size down. Next pair of jeans. They're gray. I don't have a pair of gray jeans, so I figured I would order these. These are called the Seam Detail Mom Jean. We'll just pray these aren't way too long on me. Okay, I'm a little bit confused because the first pair was pretty much a perfect fit. Second pair was a little bit too big. And then these, oh boy. These are literally sucking everything in, but surprisingly they still fit pretty nicely around my butt and my thighs, but it's like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a literal corset. I mean, I don't mind. Again, the length, these ones are a borderline too long. So I don't know, you could size up in these pants. This says it's a mom jean and the last one said they were mom jeans. So I don't know how you're supposed to tell how they'll fit so i think there's some sizing inconsistencies here but honestly i don't hate them so okay here's another pair of pants they're not jeans and they're called the gingham do i say that right gingham mayhem high-waisted tapered pants this is not the material i was expecting they basically are just wow that's a real statement okay we'll see how those go Okay, these are comfy as fuck. They're like really soft on the inside. Here's the problem I was telling you guys about. They're super, super tight. Okay, they're not super tight, but they're like tight fitting around my thighs. And then around my calves, they're kind of loose. At the same time, it makes my butt look pretty good. Like I can't see myself from the back. I guess I don't hate them. They're definitely a statement, but I like how high-waisted they are. They're fitting nicely, no gappage. It's pretty good, so. I like these. We have another patterned pair. Stone check slim leg trousers. How come some of these have like funny punny names and then some of them they were like, fuck it, just name it, whatever. Okay, these feel nice and stretchy. I'm digging the material of these. I don't know why I'm into like patterned pants all of a sudden. Okay, so these have no button on them, so they're basically leggings, and they fit pretty nicely. A little excess um, on the ankles. They're not too tight in the back. They're like a little bit tight, but that's okay. And they're honestly super cute. I really like the material. Seems pretty stretchy. Again, I like, besides the fact they're a little bit too long. Yet another pair of pants. Someone should have been there to stop me, and nobody was. Okay, another pair of, I just really like square geometric shapes on my pants. See, then these ones are called plaid reputation, high-waisted check pants, see? A pun, I don't know why some of them didn't get puns. And yeah, these have a little button, so they just look like a nice, nice pair of pants. I got so many pants. 
Sorry, the lighting is different in literally every single one like clip I film because the sun keeps going behind the clouds, but so these ones have a button, but I really like how they fit in the front. Like they have that classic dress pant fit. Again, a teeny bit tight around my thighs and then loose. And I think they're pretty cute. Everything is fitting nicely. I really like the material. None of these feel cheap, like they're gonna fall apart in two minutes. Like these, 10 out of 10. Okay, this is like the last pant item. I'm pretty sure these are shorts though. Gingham your attention, paper bag belted shorts. Okay, I see what you're doing. In the picture, they looked black and white, but they're actually black and nude, but I don't mind. So, oh, I hit myself in the eye. The shorts? fit perfectly and they're super cute and I really like them and they even have pockets and they're super comfy so I rate these a 10 out of 10. First shirt. This is called Needs Bust Denim Corset Top. I don't know what the pun is supposed to be but it's like this denim corset. This is so cute. Oh my god. And I thought that that would just be a statement. Okay, switching it up. Here is the denim corset top, but it's actually really stretchy. I was just afraid that it wasn't gonna fit me because I have a really big rib cage and like obviously you can see I have a really big fucking upper body, okay? So shirts don't really fit me right. And I also have no boobs, but this, I'm not even wearing a bra, but the way that it like squeezes you and I, <laughs> I also have boob contour from the spray tan I got and it's like really obvious, but we're not gonna talk about that. So we like this, we like this one a lot. I'm pretty sure it also came in like blue denim too. This dress, and it's called Sunrise Graphic T-shirt dress, and I got this in a small. So this is a t-shirt dress, and oh, okay. That is so cute. I might be a trendy bitch, we'll see. Okay, so I got a small in this, and I was kind of afraid that it would be a little bit too big, but honestly, I don't mind, so then I feel like safe and secure. The sleeves are kind of an awkward length, but it's still super cute, and I like picture myself wearing it with these boots. You know what? Let's throw these on then. Let's get wild. Let's throw on... That made the worst noise. Oh, look, they're fuzzy on the inside, and they're like plaid. Oh my god, the plaid texture is following me. You can't even see my feet. You can't even see my feet. Oh god. Holy shit. I'm not cut out for this kind of stuff. These are freaking cute. Oh my god. I feel like a little edgy bitch. Like what the fuck? Okay. Last shirt. Don't worry. We're speeding through this. Oh god. Uh, ew. Things are stuck to me and that freaks me out. Okay. This is called square you at that one was kind of good. Square you at, check, long line shirt. I also got this in a size US 4, a button down shirt. But, oh my god, this is actually so big, I might be able to wear it as a dress. Good thing we're sitting right next to a trash can. Cleaning as we go, ladies. Cleaning or men. Ew, wait. I don't know. This is actually so cool. This is called PU Strap Pocket Phone Bag. Even though it says one size, it's actually for an iPhone 11. And it has a little place for like your cards and stuff. And that's magnetic. And it doesn't just end there. Look at that. It comes with a whole strap. So you know when your pants like don't have pockets or have like ridiculously shallow pockets, but you don't want to carry around a purse. Just turn your phone into the purse. That is actually so cute. I was debating not getting this, but I'm really glad I did. Next up, we have some more accessories. So this is called the fuck angel slogan chain necklace. Mom, I'm so sorry if you're watching this because I know she doesn't like it, but it literally just says fuck. <laughs> I'm edgy, okay? I'm edgy. Again, I'm really sorry, mom. I know you don't like that kind of stuff. Okay, this is a bracelet and it's called the cross chain bracelet in silver. It's just like a chain with crosses on it and it's a extremely large bracelet. A pack of five um, silver bracelets because I literally don't own any bracelets. So I figured I would invest in some. So it's, I'm not gonna open it because I'll probably lose these, but there you go. Everything will be linked down in the description. My knees really hurt from sitting like this. Everything will be linked down in the description if you wanna check it out. This was not sponsored. I bought all of this with my own money. 
Um, now I have to go try it on for you guys. You guys probably already saw the try on portion. I haven't tried them on yet, so that means I have to go film that now. Let's try these on and hope they all fit. You guys already know if they fit or not because, okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go try them on. Hey everybody, I suck and I did not film an outro, so this is me filming the outro. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's kind of a roller coaster of a video. It was just a bunch of random things put together, but I wanted to bring you guys along and I'm super excited for this new chapter in my life and I'm so excited to have you guys be a part of it. So lots of fun videos are coming up. So hit that bell notification, subscribe if you wanna be updated with all that. And yeah, so that's all for this one. Feel free to check out some other videos on my channel. Check out my links in the description. I try to post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. And that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!